Welcome back to the Parts Avatar our YouTube channel. Today we have another exciting video as we're going to attempt to do a full paint correction on our beautiful NA Miata. As we can see, the paint is in dire need of saving, so let's jump into all the tools and items we'll need in order to wash and paint correct the vehicle. So we're going to start off with washing the car. To wash the car, we're going to utilize our very own Bazooka Cannon Foam. This is a very sudsy, soapy soap that'll help lift any top level contamination or grime or dirt off the vehicle. In order to use our Bazooka Cannon Foam, we have a foam lace, foam cannon, foam gun. Any of those applies and any of those can be used in order to sudsy up and soap up our vehicle. Once the vehicle is all soapy, we will move to our wash method. We're going to be utilizing a two bucket wash method with these generic buckets with grit guards. Grit guards will help us separate the dirty from the clean water to make sure that we don't put any of that dirty water back on the car. With that, we have our beautiful wash mitts that will help us wash the car very easily as opposed to using a sponge or multiple different rags.
So up next, we're actually not gonna dry the car. Since we'll be using clay lube and clay barring the whole car down, we'll have to soap and rinse it again. So when we do that, that's when we'll give it a proper dry. Now with the car all washed and clean, we can utilize our clay bar kit that includes our Elite Clay Bar and Elite Clay Glide. This will help us remove any top level contamination or any deeper contamination as well. This clay bar will help us remove any iron deposits, fallout, tree sap, or any deeper contamination that the normal wash would not. This will all help us in preparation of polishing the car. So here we actually clay barred one side of the car and one side of the car has not been clay barred yet. And I'll actually take the mic so you can hear the difference. One side is much cleaner, there's no more contamination so it's ready to polish. The other side still sounds like sandpaper so it'll need some love before we go and polish it. With our car all washed and decontaminated, we can move to grabbing our polisher. Right here we have a dual action polisher as opposed to using a rotary polisher. A rotary polisher just works in a circular motion, whereas this dual action polisher works in a figure eight motion. This helps prevent having high spots, low spots, or even burning through the paint. This is especially useful if you're a novice or a newbie to polishing cars. Now, what pads are we gonna use when polishing our car? Well, we have a whole selection here, starting off with our wool pad. This wool pad is used for heavy cutting. Then we move into thicker and harder pads that we can use depending on how bad our paint is. I'm hoping we can get away with using our two softer pads so we don't have to do a lot of cutting through our paint. Let's not forget about our safety equipment. We want to utilize safety glasses and earplugs. Safety glasses will help protect our eyes from any of the polishing compound or any contamination flying into our eyes and earplugs will help protect our ears from the loud polisher. Especially when you're using cheaper polishers, they are quite loud, they make a lot of noise, these will help protect your ears. But that's only if your ears aren't already ruined from your girlfriend yelling at why you bought a Miata, why you're spending so much on a Miata, and blah 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 blah, but you know, I'm not speaking from experience, so. Let's jump in, wash the car, and go from there.
Boom, who would have thought it's that easy to paint correct your vehicle? Okay, maybe it's not that easy. That was just one step on one panel. We still have the whole car to do. Why don't we talk about something else while I continue to paint correct the rest of the car? Has paint really changed over the years? The short answer is yes. And the bigger answer is not just a little bit, it's changed a lot. Paint went from single stage lacquer that was basically the same stuff used on wood, furniture, or other types of products that it was applied to, to cars. But on cars, it worked a little bit different. It was more focused on the pigments that were put in. These pigments are actually what defined your car. Now, what is single stage paint? Basically, single stage paint is just one thing being sprayed on your car. The current solution to painting is actually dual stage or tri-stage paint, where you would have a primer, a base, and then a clear coat. Whereas with a single stage, you would spray this direct onto the car. This was much more efficient because you only needed one type of paint, but was more expensive as the cost per liter of this paint heavy with pigments was way more expensive. Now, the idea of moving to these three different stages of paint meant that less pigment had to be used and more bland types of paint could be used. For example, your primer was just gray, then your base coat had the color, and then your clear coat would have a little bit of that pigment to give it that shine, that sparkle, that metallic feel. And this was supposed to be much cheaper. In reality, this was actually more expensive. Now, the body shop would need to have three different types of paint, the primer, the base coat, and the clear coat. But sure, the primer and the clear coat could be used on many different vehicles, and the only difference between the different cars would be that base coat. But it's not that simple. Every car would also have a different clear coat, or the base coat would react differently with different primers, so you would still need to buy more paint and spend the same amount of money. Moving on to the polishing compounds we're going to use, we're going to use a cutting compound and then a final finish polishing compound. This will cut through the paint while this will give us our final glossy finish. Single stage paints were not only better in that regard that you had to buy less paint, they were way more durable. They wouldn't chip as easily, they wouldn't scratch as easily, and they wouldn't have a lot of the issues that current paint has. A true testament to how durable single stage paint was were the car washes. The car washes had these brushes and they're known to be abrasive and now scratch your current clear coats. But when single stage paint was popular, this was actually good for the paint. As the scratching and abrasive nature of these washes actually helped bring your shine back. Single stage was extremely easy to use and that's why these car washes were everywhere. Now, you don't want to take your car to a wash unless it's a touchless one. If you haven't guessed, my 1992 Miata is one of the last cars that had single stage paint. And that's exactly why we were able to save it so easily. If this car had clear coat on it, boy oh boy, the paint would be ruined beyond repair.
now with our paint looking beautiful, all polished up and shiny, we can use a ceramic coating. So what we have is our ceramic obsession. This is a six month coating that'll help prevent the car from gaining any oxidation or stuff from UV rays. Ceramic coating works in the process of having UV protection and adding hydrophobicity to the vehicle. I'll get into more detail at the end of this video on how ceramic coatings actually work. Now that we've saved the paint, what can we do to protect it further? Thank goodness for Parts Avatar's lineup of aesthetics products. We have this amazing product called Ceramic Obsession. With Ceramic Obsession, we're going to spray it, wipe it off, and now the car will shine, be hydrophobic, and be blocked from all those harmful UV rays. So hopefully I won't be polishing this car anytime soon, and I can enjoy the beautiful shine for a while to last. Now I can go into talking about what ceramic coatings are, how they work, blah blah blah. I'll just go over it simply. A uh, ceramic coating is very simple. It's made of three main ingredients. A resin, which is a polymeric material that builds up the backbone of the coating, solvents, and additives. These are the three key ingredients to what gives the result of length, strength, and shine of these coatings. Every company will have its own variations of this coating. Parts Avatar Ceramic Obsession is optimized to give you the best shine we can and to try to last as long for the best bang for your buck. So although we're only a six month coating, for those six months, the shine will be immeasurable. Remember, Parts Avatar has got your back, so don't forget to subscribe to the Parts Avatar channel so you don't miss any of these exciting videos.